So, dear students, welcome you for the course Technology of Manufactured Fibers. In the last class, we have discussed in detail about how to produce this polyester continuous filaments or polyester fibers by using DMT root and then we have seen uh, in detail about this TPA that is PTA root. So what are the uh, selection of that is monomers uh, we have selected and how we have produced the intermediate product that is diglycol terephthalate and once the intermediate product produces how we have commenced this polycondensation process and soon after the production of polymer how we have taken the polymer to this melt spinning line and from there already we know even in the last unit also we have discussed how to produce this continuous filament of yarns through this melt spinning line and finally we have produced the filaments okay now now we are having the filaments with us that is required properties of filaments okay so now this is all we have discussed in the previous class okay so today's class we are going to focus mainly on this properties and applications of polyester fibers so what are the different properties and applications of these polyester fibers okay so before going to know the properties and applications first we should know what are the different forms of polyester that we can get so we can get the polyester in filament form we can get it in staple fiber form we can get it in tau form and we can get it in fiber fill form so if you look at the filament form each individual strand of polyester fiber is in continuous length producing a smooth surface fabrics when it comes to staple form so depending upon the predetermined lengths say for example if you want one and a half inch or two inch length of fiber where we are going to cut the continuous length of filaments and this form that is staple form of fiber is used to blend with some other fibers like some other natural fibers and uh, finally this if you look at this tau form tau is a form in which continuous filaments are taken just loosely together so that form is called as tau form and finally this fiber fill it is a voluminous form used in the manufacturing of quills pillows and outer so these are the different forms of polyester fiber and depending upon the end use requirement suppose if you want to blend or if you want to make polyester cotton shirt so you can produce the polyester that is polyester staple form fibers and if you want to produce the fibers which is used for the quilts and outerwear you can use this fiber fills like pillows and all okay so based on the different applications we can select the concern form so now you can see what is the microscopic view since whatever the cross section we want so the regular cross section is circular only that is cylindrical in longitudinal view is cylindrical our cross section is circular that is a regular shape if you want you can produce a regular uh, cross section of filaments otherwise if you wish if you want to uh, produce some different cross sections or special cross sections suppose if you want to produce the polyester which shines like silk so you can have the triangular cross section where you can see in the top second one top right one and in the lab below one that is the bottom image you can see that is hollow polyester like you can see in between some holes are there so depending upon the end use requirement where if you want more thermal conductivity or thermal retention heat retention property where you can use this kind of cross section that is hollow cross section understand so now if you look at the structure and appearance of polyester where the polyester is colorless and transparent smooth and lustrous shape as we require that is cross sectional shape and shiny glass glass rod like so this is how the structure and appearance of general polyester and when you think about the fiber characteristics like physical characteristics the fiber is physical and chemical like the fiber is strong and resistant to stretching and shrinking resistant to most of the chemicals and quick drying crisp and resilient when wet and dry wrinkle resistant mild resistant abrasion resistant retains heat set pleats and pleats and easily washable so these are all the general fiber characteristics general fiber 
characteristics okay so so it is our because of having all such characteristics this polyester fiber is most widely used synthetic fiber and you can see some of the physical properties like specific weight tenacity moisture regain heat sunlight that is resistance to sunlight and insects okay so these are the corresponding values and if you look at the chemical properties like acids basics and the effect of this bleaching agents and the organic solvents okay so when when you look at the normal acids the polyester is having good resistance to acids in cold condition but when you go at high temperatures with the uh, acetic acid where polyester will degrade the same in case of in case of basics also naoh if you treat the polyester with naoh at high temperatures or boiling temperature polyester will degrade and this polyester doesn't get affected by any bleaching agents and the organic solvents also doesn't affect polyester except this phenol and the protection ability to mild use mills and it is good okay so insects ability is good and coming to dyes that is dyeing of polyester it could be dyed with a special class of dyes because of its compact structure there is no that is gaps which is provide which is there in the polyester so that we can use dispersed or azoic colors and some pigments to dye the polyester and uh, we can use these solvents for polyester that is this uh, hot conditions in this phenol where the polyester is going to dissolve okay so this is all about the different chemical and physical characteristics of polyester so when it comes to polyester blends like if you go for blending polyester and cotton where we are going to get the wrinkle resistant and the stain resistant and it retains the shape so that's why this polyester cotton blended shirts we are using okay where it is having more resistance to wrinkles at the same time resistance to stains and it retains the shape so when it comes to polyester and wool blends same we'll expect the wrinkle resistance shape retention and increase durability and when it comes to polyester and rayon where the uh, output is going to be more durable and shape retention will be there and more resiliency will be there so these are all some of the applications are the properties when we blend the polyester with some other fibers like cotton wool and then rayon and uh, the finally if you look at the major uh, polyester applications of polyester fibers like we can use the polyester in apparel every form of clothing we can use and in home furnishings like we can use it in carpets curtains draperies sheets and pillow pillow covers or cases wall coverings and upholstery fabrics and when it comes to other uses like in technical uses like we can use this in a hoses power belting ropes and nets thread tire coat likewise we have n number of applications are there with this polyester right from apparel to the technical applications okay and uh, here you can see like uh, a broad range of pet fiber processes and its products if you look at the low that is low oriented yarns which we are getting at low spinning speeds and the corresponding end use applications like in case of apparels top weight and apparel bottom weights carpets upholstery non wovens these are all the end uses when it comes to industrial filaments where we can go at high denier uh, tires and the conveyor belts we can make seat belts hoses ropes so depending upon the application where depending upon the end use applications where we are producing the filament as per the properties which are required okay so this is all about the properties and end use applications of polyester fibers okay so in this class we have discussed in detail about what are the different forms of polyester and what exactly that form is meant for and what are the different fiber characteristics with respect to physical and chemical and how these physical and chemical characteristics of fibers will make use of these polyester fibers in n number of applications so hope you understand this class in the next class we will meet again and we will discuss about 
the manufacturing of nylon fibers. Okay, thank you. Thank you.